Lots of energy, okay? It's hidden energy. Here you go. It's good to have a big goal than a small goal. I'd rather have a very high goal that I can't achieve than a lower goal that I achieve and I get bored with it. The orchestra came into life by having a gathering of a bunch of musician friends. And so we thought, you know, it won't be bad to maybe put together a small little chamber orchestra. I thought, you know, how hard can it be? Let's, let's find out. <laughs> so I had no idea how hard it is. The orchestra is now taking a life of its own. It has a mission statement, which pretty much states that the orchestra is there to be uh, the best it can be anywhere, locally, nationally, globally, uh, you name it. And that's what we strive for. That's the plan. And it's going to take a long time and many years, but that's, that's what's really exciting. There are people that have been there since day one. I choose them originally because of their skill, of course. And I have to tell you, most musicians are starved for chamber music. It's one of the dreams that most musicians have, is to play chamber music, because it's an intimate setting, you play eye to eye, you, you make music. And so we immediately got very good professional musicians. However, uh, if you notice, we're very close. It's a very closely knit orchestra. And you have to be a nice person. That is more important than being the greatest violinist on earth. You know, in music, there is always, every conductor talks about the arch. If you just go and conduct a symphony with just four movements and you just do every movement and you get out of there, that's one way to do it. But the greatest musicians are the ones that always have this structural arch. And when you come out of the concert, you feel like you just went through this incredible uh, architecture and you just saw the Taj Mahal of music. But one of our missions is to perform pieces that are underplayed. So I like to do things where people leave the venue and they go, how come I've never heard that piece before? That was just amazing. That's, that's what I love to do. And then when they hear it, their life has changed because they just realize, oh my God, there was this great composer named Lorensky. When you're there for the love of music and for providing what you completely believe in, then you will have success. And people know that. The audience knows that. They know you're there because you love this. I was lucky enough to be able to have people believe in what I do and the purpose of the orchestra. And here we are. We've got great musicians and, um, and it's worked out well.